Is this the face of the future? At the Henna Hotel in southern Japan, the receptionist is a humanoid robot called Yumeko. Hi, I've got a room booked. It's in the name of Peter Lane. One moment, please. Behind her artificial skin, wires and processors and a basic program for guiding guests through check-in. She can't yet fully interact. Her job is to provide a smiling human-style welcome, albeit from a machine. And technology is the theme here, so there's no hotel porter. Instead, guest luggage is taken by a robot arm and stored in lockers. The company has three hotels in Japan and plans to open ten more this year. Manager Yoshida Manabu is one of only six human staff. There used to be 30 here. He told me in an ideal world all of his employees would be robots. Robots are very precise, he says. They can work every hour and never take a break, but we do need a form of human face to make the guests feel comfortable. No such need for a human face in the cleaning department. Here, a robot works its way around the hotel corridors, vacuuming. So the stuff of science fiction that I used to watch in films when I was growing up is starting to become a reality. Who knows where we'll be in a few years' time. A glimpse of the immediate future, this exhibition in Tokyo with the tagline, The Robot Revolution Has Begun. Gravity center looping mechanism. There are security robots that look like Star Wars droids, automated hospital porters, I'm Pepper and I'm your host today. Social companion robots which analyze voice tone and facial expression to read your mood. Concierge meet and greet robots. And service robots being sold to cafes and restaurants looking to replace their human waiting staff. Japan's population is shrinking. The government here believes robots can help fill the gaps. So does this rapidly evolving technology change what it means to be human. Anthropologist Keiko Nishimura is studying human-robot interaction. They will make people's life easier, and not just easier, but people, they will make people's lives more human. Because the more robotic tasks are done by robots, and the humans can focus on the human jobs. Back near the Henna Hotel, this restaurant has a robot chef called Andrew, currently only programmed to make pancakes. The plan here is to eventually reduce human staff numbers from 16 to just three. Manager Ura Rakia told me, Robots are improving all the time. It's impressive. One day they'll think and learn for themselves. Japan prides itself on pushing the boundaries of robot technology. Today, pancakes. Tomorrow, the world? Well, if it's possible, it's possible here. Peter Lane, 5 News, in Japan.